Welcome to our daily hobbies. I'm Economic Khan, and today we've been playing for the game, yes, Mama, where Mary is about to turn 10 years old, and that's a very special age. Let's discover why, shall we? Okay, it is the morning, and it is, I think that's our mother. Happy birthday, dear. Thank you, Grandma. I can't believe you're already 10 years old. Time flies. Sorry to my mother for, uh, thinking that was her. Oops. Happy 10th birthday, Mary. Congratulations on becoming a young woman. It's a pile of birthday letters. It's just to me. Delightful. So, uh, should I be looking for my mother? There's some old family photos in here. Okay. Well, at least that didn't fall down. Oh, hello there. You must be my mother. What is this book, though? A spell book? I don't understand the language Mama's cookbook is written in. It's open to a page with the title Senectus Retexir? Whatever that means. I have no other idea. I think it's a sacrificial ritual. There we go. That's what it is. Finally up, Sleeping Beauty. You know, just because it's your birthday doesn't mean you can sleep in. Grandma came all this way to see you, and we have a lot to do today. Sorry, Mama. I'm just teasing, sweetie. But now that you're up, can you bring me your jar of snails from the front room? Yes, Mama. Thank you, sweetie. So, um, why am I bringing you a jar of snails? Where is a jar of snails? This crate is full of preserved fruit. I mean, that's grown up, but where, where is the jar? Mother, I don't know where the jar of snails are. I'm not seeing them unless they're here. A broken light bulb, some spare change. Aha! Uh -huh, here's the jar. You got a jar of snails. Mother, you're not going to put the snails in my birthday cake, are you? So I'm pretty sure that's not healthy. Do you have the jar of snails? Yes, Mama. Here they are. Perfect. Now can you find that old photo of us and Grandma? You know the one. It's your favourite. I think it's in the box next to the dining table. Yes, Mama. Lovely. Um, why do I get a bad feeling? You, are you doing a ritual to steal my youth? Some of the photos in here are from before I was born. It's weird to see Mama and Papa when they were my age. I think the photo I'm looking for ended up near the bottom. There it is! You got the family photo. Mama? Mama, what are you doing? With snails and, and this picture? Did you find the photo? I did! It was at the bottom of the box. Wonderful. Now, I need you to do something difficult. Will you do it for me? No matter what it is. Yes, Mama. I knew I could count on you. I need you to take the photo over to the fireplace. And I want you to burn it so there's only ashes left. But, but why? You'll find out later today. But, no more buts. This is important, Mary. Okay, Mama. Well, I do enjoy fire, so... Burn away! I guess Mama knows what's best. Put the photo in the fire. Yes! You got a burned family photo. I wonder what Grandma's going to say about it. Grandma, I burned the family photo. Oh, what a shame. You had to burn the photo. It'll be worth it, though. Worth it for you or worth it for me? Because I'm questioning. I burned the photo, Mama. You're such a good girl, Mary. There's just two more things I need you to do for me, okay? In the bedroom dresser, you'll find a plant called a mandrake. It has a root that's kind of shaped like a person. Bring it back here, and I'll show you what to do with it. Uh, Mama? Mama, isn't mandrakes, um, a little bit poisonous? I used to hide in this pot when I was really little. Interesting. 
this pot is really broken. We should probably get rid of it. Now where is this Nandrake? I can't believe Mama is letting me look through the uh, drawers. There's some weird looking jewelry, a bird skull, a bottle of red stuff, some dried flowers, but no Mandrake. Maybe I should talk to Mama again? I think we should run away. I mean, I was kidding about the potions and the rituals and the sacrificing, but um... I don't think I'm incorrect anymore. Mama, did you find the Mandrake? Not yet. I looked in all the drawers, but I couldn't find it. Hmm, that's strange. Oh, of course, silly me. I must have forgotten to take it out from under the bed all those years ago. Wait. Wait, I, I definitely remember thinking about Root being into the bed and it giving people nightmares or something, right? Mama, what have you been doing to me? Never mind. Anyway, check into the bed. I'm feeling concerned. Is it under my bed? It's dark under there, but I don't think I see the mandrake. Okay, well, good news is it's probably not under mine then. Wow, it's really dusty under here. Aha! Uh -huh, I see the mandrake. You got a mandrake. Ew, it kind of looks like it's moving. I guess it probably is. The plant has sentience, child. Did you find the mandrake? Yeah, it was under the bed like you said. Wonderful. Here, take this knife. You need to be very careful with it. I will, Mama. Now come put the mandrake on this cutting board. Cut the head off and pour the sap into this vial. Can you do that? Yes, Mama. Good girl. It's bleeding! Quick, put it in the vial! You got the mandrake sap. I'll take that. I have one more thing I want you to do. It's going to be harder than everything else I had you do today. But I need you to promise that you'll do this for me. Do you promise that no matter what I ask you to do next, you'll do it? Well, this is probably a bad idea, but um... I've yes mammed my way through this game so far, so yes, mama. Thank you, Mary. The last thing I need you to do is take the knife, go outside, and cut out Ollie's heart. Is Ollie the dog? Mama, I am not cutting out a dog's heart. I will cut out your heart. Not the dog's. What? No, I won't. You can't make me. Fine. I hope you didn't want any of your birthday presents. But, but, it's your choice, not mine. Can I just stab mother? I, actually, I'm gonna go see who Ollie is. Who's Ollie? It's Ollie to the dog. I, I am not doing this. Ollie's the dog! No, no. Mother, mother, I'm stabbing you. I'm stabbing you in the heart, mother. Stab, stab mother. Stab mother! Why are you not giving me the option to stab the mother? What about the grandmother? Be careful with that knife. We wouldn't want anything to happen to that pretty face. I'm not stabbing Ollie. Why do you not stab the mother? No, I'm running away. I'm not allowed to leave the yard on my own. It doesn't matter. Your choice is to leave the yard or stab the dog. What is this? It's Papa's grave. His body isn't actually buried here. Why can't I just stab the mother? I think stabbing the mother is my best option. I'm gonna jump down the well, that's what I'm doing. I hate it when it's my turn to fetch water. Are you kidding me? I have no other job. Wait, is this one Ollie? Oh. It looks like Ollie caught a rat. Can't I just take the rat's heart then? No, I have to kill the dog. I'm going to stab the mother. Oh, I'm sorry, Ollie. Wait. Oh. Wait. Oh, I... Use the knife and the rats! That's what I want to do! You got a rat heart. Good enough. Good game. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mother, I have succeeded. 
You finally did it! Um, uh, yeah? Good. I'm proud of you. Meet me and Grandma in the basement, and we all get your presents. Ha <laughs> ha! I have outsmarted you, Mother. I have fooled you. You shall never know of my treachery. Until, of course, you ask to look at the heart and realize it's far too tiny to be a dog's. Well, until... That, they are bones. Well, regardless of what I did, I was going to die here, but let's face it, at least the dog lives. When you're ready, I need you to sit on that chair on your left, okay? Oh. Yes, Mama. Good girl. This bowl has the pickled snails in it. The word phlegm is carved into the metal. This bowl has the rat heart in it. The b word blood is carved into the metal. And as you'll never know, you fools. This bowl has the burned family photo in it. The words black bile are carved into the metal. This bowl has the mandrake sap in it. The words yellow bile are carved into the metal. Okay, we can sit now. Sit on the chair. Oh, great goddess. We stand before you as your humble servants. We give you these meager offerings and hope they please you. We ask that you bestow on us your amazing and perfect blessings. Goddess, I ask you bless this ancient soul with the gift of new life, so that we may continue to do your bidding and help fix this impure earth. We are ever in your debt, O oh Goddess. Wait, so am I being sacrificed or not? Wait! Something is wrong! Mary! What did you... Run! Oh! 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 Grandma has become a demon! Oh! <laughs> hey, uh, funny thing about that heart! It may not have been Ollie's. Mary managed to make it out of the basement alive. After hours of walking through the snow and hoping she was going the right way, Mary finally made it to the nearby village. She was so cold and weak that the villagers didn't believe the story she told about her grandmother turning into a monster. But every now and then, people would swear they hear the growls of a monster amongst the howling of the wind. That'd be Grandma. I regret nothing. Only deserved life. Okay, uh, I suppose now we've got to go for the other ending, which would require us killing Ollie. <sighs> the things I do for you. I can't believe I'm doing this for you. I'm sorry, Ollie. I love you, but I need to do this. Ollie, wait, stop it. Stop. I'm sorry. You got Ollie's heart. I'm sorry, Ollie. I didn't want to, I swear it. I'm sorry, Ollie. I got Ollie's heart. Yeah, that, that's Ollie's heart. The heart cut from your dog's dead body. Well, you know, you didn't need to remind me of the fact I uh, killed my dog. You, you didn't need to do it. I'm well aware of the part I've just done. <sighs> Hello, Mother. I'm here. Okay. I feel funny. What's happening to me? How do you feel? Oh. I feel fantastic. This is much better than our weak old body. I knew it! Okay, I thought I was gonna get murdered, like in a blood ritual, but essentially this is what I thought was gonna happen. Grandma has stolen my body. Grandma has done an us on me, but the child didn't- Oh. The child is now locked away in the consciousness. Grandma? How could you? Mama? Is that where you killed the father? Did he find out about this? Wow. I, I, you know what? I no longer feel bad about turning grandma into a demon. She deserved it. Well, I hope you enjoy that playthrough, yes, mama. I knew they were going to be evil doing some kind of sacrifice. Why is it always these kind of games? I mean, first we had mother with cannibalism, and now we have yes, mama, 
We're literally stealing the child's life. Shameful. As always, if you want to check out the game, I'll leave the link in the description below. If you've enjoyed your time here, then please don't like this video and subscribe to this channel. Other than that, have a spooky day and I'll catch you next time, guys.